This is the Blockade Pinball Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Freebus, a.k.a. Shut Your Trap. Uh, today, we are correcting an error that we made earlier in the week uh, regarding well-played arcades, pinball cabinet, and the 27 Zacharia tables that are going to be contained within it. I had wrongly chosen that it was going to be the uh, original versions of the table, the solid-state versions that are uh, based on the actual physical machines that exist. Uh, due to a uh, misunderstanding of the language, which was that they will be remakes of the original tables. I took that to mean recreations. Wrong. It is the remake versions of 27 tables. It's not even of the solid states necessarily, because some of them are remake versions of the electromechanical tables. You may be asking, what is... What do they mean by remake? It means that Magic Pixel went in and using the same art elements, uh, some of the playfield designs, uh, and reinterpreted each title into a more modern era table using uh, a DMD score display, uh, changing the shape of some of the uh, uh, where the flippers are placed, also adding in things such as modes, which are definitely a DMD era. Uh, type enhancement. So that's what we're going to take a look at. We're going to look at all 27, and because of that, <laughs> I'm going to be doing speed runs, 30 seconds each on each table, because you guys really don't need to sit through an hour of gameplay table just to see what is going to be included. All right, so that's cool. 30 seconds. I've got a timer. As when that timer goes off, then that is when we switch tables. So let's get going. And our first table. I didn't even notice which one, which table is. We're going to launch the ball and find out, aren't we? For those who are worthy shall possess the soul of that. So you can see this kind of got a little love of the uh, Black Knight approach uh, with the, uh, the ball layout there. Be careful. down my volume a little bit. Oh, and look at that. That nope. is all the time we have on this particular table. Oh, it's over. Don't you know. <laughs> what table was that? That, that? that was... Oh, we were playing Star God. See, I didn't have my thing on the correct thing. Well, hey, let's do this in reverse order. Why don't we? Uh, next up, Time Machine. Time Machine. Prepare the time travel. Get this going. Traveling to the quantum. So this is quite different from what Time Machine, the solid state version, normally looks like. Also, you'll notice that you got that ball over there in the corner doing a little uh It's kinda like what happens in Bram Stoker's Dracula, the Williams table where it uh, floats on a magnet. It's kind of cool starting off with the multi-ball right off the bat. But there's a little difference. Oh, time is up! Alright, so that is Time Machine. This is like panic playing, but at least you can't see if I'm doing good or bad on a table. Woods Queen is the uh, next table up. I really gotta adjust my volume level here. Because it is blowing my ears out, even though you guys aren't hearing a difference. And a new adventure let's play. awaits. So obviously they replaced all the sounds. Uh, they're all wholly original. This one reminds me a lot, <laughs> unfortunately, of El Dorado City of Gold, the uh, Gottlieb solid state table. Uh, just in terms of the sound package, the callouts. We're all done by fans of the game. Um, Hole award wow. Is lit. Time is up already. Uh, Zacharia basically... Uh, uh, let me get out of this. I'm getting confused here trying to do this so fast. Zacharia put out a call to saying, hey, does anybody want to volunteer? And people then volunteered, got scripts Tropical. to do uh, all the call-outs, and then their voices were put into... Sunny the games. and shiny. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, hold on one second. We're going to get this one going on. Spinner school. So you'll notice Spinner. also a lot of these are much more ramp heavy, have a lot of uh, habit Come trails on. going on. Woo. Various toys placed it's on the, to start the mode. play fields. Combo. You'll notice also hmm. like this one has uh, more of a stand standard uh, design for where the slingshots are. It's much wider. You have, look at this, you have full access to the uh, flipper. But on that one, Don't move. you then cannot um, do a post pass because they're too wide. So there's a lot of play going on with the uh, with the slingshots. Too many tables, gotta keep on moving. Here we go. This one is Fire Mountain. Pay attention because my podcast host, Jared Morgan, did the call outs on this table. Don't touch anything. Thank you, Jared. I won't. Something you'll also notice, though, the super, the super is that the callouts on all these tables tend to be the same thing, which is you're going to hear a lot of loot callouts, a lot of combo callouts, a lot of super jackpot callouts, but not necessarily callouts that help you understand <laughs> what to shoot for, which is kind of a missed opportunity. I wish that Magic Pixel had have uh, done that, but hey. They are a small, small studio, and despite that, they've put out s stuff like this, which I think is uh, quite quality in nature. Oh wow, that was harsh. This is... I'll tell you, man, Zacharia loves themselves some clowns. I don't know what's up with the Italians on that front, but... Uh, a little bit disturbing. I wish this had just been a pure motorcycle theme instead of this circus aspect with a stunt rider playing in it. I'm telling you, 30 seconds on these tables is not a lot of time. But again, you're playing with the uh, the wider slingshots there. Zach's out of this one! We are going over to... Oh, God. If you thought the clowns were bad on that one... Wait until you get to the clowns on this one. Pick your favorite. Oh god, that voice <laughs> kills me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to clowns. Pick skill shot. I mean, seriously. This is like a, a half table. When I say that, it means that so much of the upper play field is inaccessible. So you're literally just playing, for the most part, the lower half. And if I wasn't so worried about time, I might actually be able to show you something of the upper playfield, but... Just like that, 30 seconds are up, and sparing us from suffering any more of this clown. You know, so here the uh, slingshots, I'm just going to let it bounce a second here, and capture. Here the slingshots are your normal standard distance, so you can do post passes. Pool Champion, because we can never have enough Pool Champion tables, as we discovered in those other videos, if you happen to watch them. Chalk up. Tell you what, though. These callouts are hyperly aggressive. <laughs> Combo. Spinner bonus, level one. Double combo. Triple combo. See what I mean by a nice said, uh... Lots of double combos and shoot again is activated. Unfortunately, that kind of works against the remakes, though. In terms of they start getting uh, monotonous, uh, one after the other, just with uh, with kind of what you're supposed Don't to achieve. Nope. Um, the modes, which I'm not going to have time to activate any of them here. Um, the modes tend to be, uh, 
how would you say? They would tend to be uh, uh, knock down drop targets, hit four ramps, uh, hit certain stand-up targets. They're not really enticing and exciting. Um, it's not advancing anything per se uh, regarding a story on the table. So that's also another knock on these in terms of them getting kind of repetitive. Um, but flip side is that these obviously have a more modern look. Okay, uh, back to the fun here. We are on Stars Phoenix, for which I get to say, Welcome to Stars Phoenix. Does that voice sound familiar at all? No? It should, because it's me! Although I don't know what this voice is that I put on. I can't remember what the uh, direction was that I got to uh, have me talking, combo. talking like this. Double combo. Double combo. Triple combo. Super bumper. So yes, we were given voice direction in terms of uh, a character to take on. I know I submitted maybe four different voices, and this is the one that uh, Magic Pixel came back with wanting. And clearly I didn't hit the timer because we were playing this a little bit longer than 30 seconds, but that's okay. It's my table. Okay, let's move on. Uh, up to Nautilus. Nautilus uh, was an electromechanical table. Originally. Welcome to Nautilus. So that's why you'll notice that the artwork is significantly more dated. These would have been based off Come of uh, more mid 70s tables. Keep Gone are all the uh, Williams sound effects that Zacharia seemed to have borrowed for a couple of their tables. There's our 30. So much to look through. Gotta just keep on plowing through. Okay, Future World. Here's another one that. Uh, I believe was an electromechanical to start with. Skill shot. Although future world, I just kind of see things that are very just regular space. <laughs> it's like I see a space station, I see an astronaut with a jetpack. Not terribly futuristic world. It's kind of like <laughs> when you see Future Spa. And it just looks like a um, an aerobics ad. <laughs> Spinner score. And we just get one more shot off. There we go. Spinner score. I just wanted to hear spinner score one more time. All right, into winter sports. This is the uh, the first table featured on our part one Good video. Afternoon, everybody. Clearly not the I same thing, though. He doesn't have all day. Here you'll notice, again, now we're getting into the more narrow uh, slingshots. Not quite as narrow as we're going to see in a little bit, but again, that's definitely a purely Zacharias style. Loop. So I mentioned that all these tables have uh, modes that you're able to start. The only problem is it never starts with the mode lit, and finding the mode hole can be a task. So there's your game now to, uh, as you start playing, look for the mode hole somewhere on the table. It's not lit. Focus. Now be one with the ball. Black belt. I love this uh, plunger handle on here. It's the katana sword or whatever. Skill it's a shot. giant. You can just see that jamming into somebody's hips while they're playing. See, even I'm going to look for the mode hole. Reward is waiting. I don't know if I can see it. This one might not have a mode, though. Attention. Once more. Remember your training. 
Come on, give me the ball. Student, you are not ready. Again. Again. Skill shot. So how's that? That's interesting. You can do a skill shot a great reward is that far <laughs> uh, into these tables. So, all right, enough of that one. Here's another pinball champ, pinball champ eighty two. Pinball champ. Welcome to I am the champ. Combo. The only thing I'll say with both these pinball champs is gone is that really ridiculously hard uh, upper playfield scoop. Alright, I see the start mode. It's over there on game the... Uh, over, champ. What? Game over? Wow. I'm like... Why do you say game over and the game is still playing? Um, just because just I spot it. M mode is right there. That's your mode start, but you notice it wasn't lit, so no mode. So here's the question. How the heck do you start any of the modes? What do you got to shoot to do it? I don't know. Robot. Robot. Remake. Welcome to Robot, a unique creation. See that flipper just on the left side and the right side just hanging out in space. <laughs> Nothing to protect him on the bottom side. Don't move. It's kind of trick. I like that little gate action blocking the uh, the ramp there. Here you've got the uh, severe uh, slingshots being very narrow. I'll just see those one more time before we. Move on to the next table. Oh, see? And because of that, it makes it really hard to capture, but look at that. It's just burp. You can do post passes, but it's... I'm telling you, narrow slingshots on Zacharia. The only tables I know that have them like that. That effectively cut your flipper in half uh, for the range of motion. I almost wonder why they didn't just use two inch flippers. So here we go with locomotion. If you watched the previous video, you'll remember that this was the table that had the absolutely hideous green plastics. Or were they metal? I couldn't tell. Uh, and now we have just a gigantic array of wire form <laughs> habit trails. One more shot, just to so, so that, that those flippers work. The only time you can get to them, though, is on ball launch. Zancor. Zancor. Remake. This one has a really convoluted upper playfield that blocks so much of what you can see. Combo. Because believe it or not, there are pop bumpers up there on the left-hand side. Double combo. Also, I do know on this one, in order to start the mode, or to uh, light the mode, you got to be able to hit that mid-range shot, right? There, a couple of times in order to get the mode start Bonus to even go, and it is a brutal combo. shot to try and hit. One thing to note these tables are definitely uh, Hot Wheels, not Mattel's Hot Wheels. Um, uh, oh, this one's kind of cool. It has a uh, look at this, it's got a double launch on the balls, but you only play one ball. It's kind of a bummer. I like the uh, double launch idea. Um, these tables are definitely more newbie friendly. You'll have longer play times on them than uh, Lock is lit. than the solid state uh, oh, tables. Two. And I say that because these make a little more sense uh, with modern million. 
uh, modern playfield design. Uh, the guys at Magic Pixel definitely uh, updated that uh, compared to what the old uh, Italian designers were doing. Uh, and you'll notice this one has three flippers on the right, two flippers on the left. So, lots of uh, visual pizzazz. I can now understand why these were the tables that are being chosen to be loaded in. Uh, Magic Castle is next. Uh, these are the tables being loaded into the well-played arcade cab as opposed to the solid state, which are definitely, those would be more for your call it hardcore pinhead. Um, as opposed to family-friendly uh, kids coming in and messing around with them. This table is interesting for just how narrow uh, the bottom of the playfield actually is, when you think about it. A lot of it is occupied um, by those slings, by the by the inlanes, all that. One quick shot more so you can get another look at it. This one seemed to go by really quick. Bravo. There we go. I wanted to show at least a little ramp action. Got a flipper up there. Actually, oh, and then I want you to notice when I flip the right flipper, up there on the uh, the metal ramp on the left, there's a diverter flipper. <laughs> Don't move. At first I thought it was going to be like on the um, solid state machines where there was just a flipper randomly placed as a bumper and nothing more. Uh, but that's not the case. Here we go, Farfalla. You'll remember this is a very psychedelic table featuring lots of love. <laughs> but this is the only one of the uh, pack that has a lower playfield. Be fun if I can actually get into the lower playfield, but I don't know how to uh, how to access it necessarily. Oh wait, maybe that did it. Maybe it went to a hole. Yes. So a little zoom in action, which I don't know if that happens in uh, cabinet mode or not. That might be one of those things. It'll be a little weird if it does a uh, zoom in like that. I prefer when you're in cabinet mode, everything just stays cabinet mode. Spooky! Spooky remake. The guest has arrived. Welcome to Spooky. Apparently they couldn't hire Vincent That's Price because he was dead. Although is this guy channeling his best uh, monster mash? Skills. Skills. <laughs> I do. I do not like that ramp right there. It's very Pepno Bismo purple. Reminds me of Gottlieb's Genesis table, which combo. is, in my book, one of the ugliest. Double combo pinball machines out there. Triple combo. <laughs> Super combo. Anyway, that's spooky for ya. House of Diamonds. House of Diamonds. So we've been going backwards uh, with the machines uh, to what Magic Pixel did at the beginning when they started doing remakes. So, if these are starting to look more simple in their design, uh, that would probably be the reason why Magic Pixel kind of upped their game as they went along. Two but these million. earlier tables definitely have Two more million. of the uh, Zachary Pinball Salt State Machine feel that they were based on. So, take your pick. None of these have the electromechanical feel that were featured in Combo. those tables that were from uh, 1978 to 1980, basically. Ball one. Which is kind of a shame, because I like that for having the variety of things to play. Um, so, again, you're dealing with tables of this that are all going to have kind of the same feel. Tower bonus! That's not to say they aren't interesting, it's just to say that uh, there's not the variety that I actually was kind of enjoying that the solid state tables all had. Even if they were kind of 
hokey <laughs> with some of their sounds and, and layouts and visuals and all that. Like Zachary, uh, t uh, pinball is definitely um, is definitely something you grow to love. <laughs> it's not something you love right off the bat. Bonus times two. All right, let me get out of that. That was Earth, Wind, and Fire, by the way, not Earth, Wind, and Earth, Wind, Fire. Circus. So here's a question. How is Circus different than Devil Rider, which was Circus, and Clown, which was Circus? You see how they love to repeat their themes? And then, of course, you have, you know, the pinball champs. And anyway, just saying. Yep, there it is. Don't move. Combo. Whoa. One million. Did I miss out on uh, just like multi ball after multi ball there? Kind of feels like it, doesn't it? You know, in some respects, is activated. This table is almost like Hurricane in its layout. But Hurricane came out way, way... Well, I didn't take that way out. Uh, in real life, Hurricane would have come out long before Zacharia or Magic Double Pixel combo. got a hold of it. So anyway, reminds me, it's Double. kind of, for some reason... Triple combo. One million. ...of Hurricane with having your, uh, basically your... That'd be your Cyclone Ramp. Two million. The middle ramp would be your Hurricane Ramp and your... Your lane there on the left being, if I could shoot over there, being your Ferris wheel. But I'm not having any, there it is. So there's where the Ferris wheel would have been. Two but million. anyway. Something else that I have noticed with these tables, uh, this is combat. I believe this is based on an electromechanical table also. Um, and that is, that the physics of the ball coming off the flipper, the ball tends to go where you would expect it to aim, whereas on the solid state machines, I never felt that way. And so I don't know if that is a product of Magic Pixel having revised their physics or something, but I do prefer don't move. aiming on the flippers with the remix. Anyway, there's combat. If I could shut off the timer. Going in the space shuttle. Space shuttle. Remake. See, here it looks like they almost went for a wide body look. You'll notice, look at that weird placement of a uh, flipper on the left for the outlane. I mean, it completely blocks the outlane. That's kind of interesting. A little more magnetic catches going on. And a kickback. 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 This table is actually really kind of got it all going on. I like this one a lot. I think... Uh, Combo. I think Magic Pixel did a good job on this one. Alright, there's that one. And what do we got? One more? Yep, one more. Shooting the Rapids. Shooting the Rapids. Remake. Again, it's got that wide body feel on this. I don't know if in fact it is a wide body design or not. It just kind of feels that way to me. Combo. So flippers all over the place, little spinner toy. play just a little bit more of this one since it's our last one. Um, 
just to show you too that boom. See, this is the this is those narrow slingshots that make trapping a ball really difficult because when it comes off the sling, there we go. Um, if it comes off the right sling and you want it to go into the right flipper, it's not going to just slide down gently. And then look at how much of the uh, flipper it cuts off. Cuts off a good quarter of the flipper. Um, I don't know if any of these cut off the, int the half of the flipper like you saw in the solid state tables or not. But anyway, that's enough of that one. All right, so... There you go. Those are the 27 remake tables that are going to be in Well Played Arcade's pinball cabinet. Um, this is what they're going to be shipping with. Uh, all these are made by Magic Pixel. All of these table designs are completely Magic Pixel's uh, designs. They are not recreations of the solid state Zacharia pinball machines that exist. Uh, however, one of the things that apparently is going to be happening with this cabinet, um, it does have Wi-Fi connectivity. They've talked about that you'll be able to download other tables. So I have to assume that you're going to be able to download at some point um, all of those all those tables. Let's take a look real quick. Um, I just want to show you this. And that is all the tables that you have possible. So right now we've been playing the remakes. But then there are See, these are the uh, electromechanical tables. So right there you have Tropical, there's Nautilus, there's Circus, there's Combat, uh, there's Woods Queen. So you can see uh, where they pulled off. And I'm just going to, just for the sake of it, I'm going to show you the difference between... Um, let's look at Com... No, let's look at Tropical. Shall we? That was, eh, we'll look at Combat. I know, I'm wishy-washy here. I'm just going to show you the difference of how different these remakes are. So look at that. Look at how slow the ball moves. There's not a single ramp, not a single wire form. It's just your typical uh, drop target, pop bumper kind of uh, setup. And then, because we're going to just do this Woods Queen. Woods Queen. Oh, that blue monkey is hideous, isn't it? So again, world of difference <laughs> of what the remakes are like compared to what uh, the real-world version of the table looks like. Uh, just to do it, I want to see what Nautilus is. Nautilus. Don't worry, we'll probably look at Tropical also. I don't know how many of you actually have uh, played Zacharia Pinball, downloaded it. Uh, I know it's available on all the platforms, pretty much. So it's more than possible that you've never never purchased, never seen what uh, the actual Zacharia tables are. So these were, again, what the actuals looked like. So this, looks, this is probably going to be the type of thing that you can download. Um, so again, for all those that uh, are into electromechanical tables, this is going to be pretty much your only... Uh, chance of getting those uh, in mass. And just for the sake of it, look at Tropical, their earliest table, 1974. Yeah. <laughs> That's an electromechanical table. Absolutely. Um, other things... So if those are the electromechanical tables, like I said, here's the full list of the solid state. There's two videos that we have of those. Uh, you can see all the play of those. Um, that was my mistake of doing those. Um, then there are the deluxe tables. These are things that uh, are actively being developed right now. I haven't purchased any of these, uh, but these are being actively developed by Magic Pixel right now. And then you have the retro tables, which is basically took <laughs> they took all 27 of the tables and turned them into electromechanical tables. So they know how to, uh, if you, like I said, if you were into electromechanical tables, 
you're going to probably want to get this collection because you're going to be able to download a lot, assuming that these are indeed the tales that uh, they're saying that you're going to be able to uh, collect and, and download. All right, so there you have it. Those are uh, the correct 27 tables that are going to be on the well-played arcade machine. Uh, what are your thoughts? Is this now something that uh, supplants whether you want to get the uh, arcade one-up cabs or get the at games cab or get the toy shot cab um is it something that instead just kind of falls in the second place and that you're now more curious to get that so you'll get one of the others as your main table and then pop into this i don't know let me know hit me up on twitter uh drop notes in the youtube uh in the comments and uh i'd love to see what you guys think until next time we're probably going to get to uh, the at games table soon too so just so you know all right so until next time Bye.